Look who's here, former White House Strategic Communications Director, Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes, a pleasure to see you on the show. It's good to have you on. Okay, Mercedes, we're tracking the Great governor. Great to be on. It's good to see you. The governor's races. Okay, the New York Times now says its poll with Siena College shows the GOP, Republicans are in, running in a dead heat in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, Arizona. Mercedes, we're seeing New York, New Hampshire dead heats too, neck and neck. Why those states? Are the pandemic lockdowns driving any of this? Look, I think the pandemic lockdowns definitely have played a role, especially like states like Michigan, for example. Matt and I were uh, campaigigning for the uh, uh, GOP gubernatorial candidate, Tudor, Tudor Dixon, who's running against Gretchen Whitmer. And in talking with folks on the ground, they are so upset with the fact that because of the draconian steps taken by Whitmer uh, to close down many of the businesses, the schools, uh, it really had a huge economic impact. You've seen a large number of small businesses and restaurants close down in that state. Uh, students, of course, were on online learning for about a year. And I think that it just uh, led to this COVID fatigue and the fact that these states haven't been able to recover. And you've seen, obviously, the educational impact that it's had on our students. So, I, I got to tell you, when you're looking across the board, the pandemic lockdowns have had a huge impact. And also, obviously, inflation, high food and gas prices, and crime, and an out of control immigration and border issue that we're seeing right now. Yeah, and so I think those are the things really driving this election. And to your point, it like spun out of the lockdowns. You know what I mean? Like defund the police during the lockdowns. Right. It was just. A crazy making kind of policy. Let's watch Virginia Lieutenant Governor Winston Sears and uh, on the teachers union president who said yes, shut down schools, and watch Governor DeSantis on crime in New York. Watch this. She was one of the major proponents of closing our schools, and unfortunately, most of these Democrat uh, Democrat governors listened to her and did exactly that. And now they're saying, oh, you know, just forget about it. No, the problems are existing where our children did not learn. The elites in our country, they want to impose their vision and their policies on you and expect you to submit to their ideology. But they do not want to face the consequences of those policies. Talk about that. They don't want to face the consequences of the policies. Well, you have the story in The Atlantic calling for a pandemic amnesty, basically saying, let's forgive these people uh, for pushing forward these lockdowns that have had uh, a consequential impact uh, from the economy to our students. And I think, I, I really think that the American people have said, the Democrats' decisions to push forward these lockdowns in these states uh, have been brutal and, and, and has really had a huge impact in our communities and in essence, they don't want to go in, back in that direction. So I think that you look at the one of the more recent polls saying that 55% of voters believe that the COVID lockdowns did have an economic impact in their states. And I think that it is pressuring, uh, putting a lot of pressure on the Democrats to try to answer these questions on why they went forward with such draconian policies. What you know, we're seeing in the voter polling, Mercedes, is that people who still got a paycheck, people who are in their ivory towers in the media, or they're getting a government paycheck, they push pandemic lockdowns needlessly, and they, that it needlessly destroyed towns and cities. You can't say that shutting down the dry cleaner or the local bar or the shoe repair guys stopped the pandemic. I mean, that's what happened. He had children sit back with significant learning losses, Mercedes, and firing first responders who didn't comply with vax mandates. We understand, you know, stop the spread, right? 15 days to stop the spread turned into two yes. years. It turned into massive amounts right. of un inequity and unfair and unfair, you know, attitudes and behaviors toward U.S. workers. Mercedes, final word. Well, well two things. One is, is there was a huge reliance on these bureaucratic officials like Dr. Fauci, who's very unpopular, and many of those individuals in the CDC. And then it just shows also how it's not only federal elections that matter. What matters are who are the people running the school boards? Who are the Got people it. running your local governments? So all of a sudden you see that Republicans and conservatives are starting to win these local races, which hasn't happened before. Mercedes Schlapp, come back soon. It's good to see you.